All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing a review on the Tusk Terabytes and Tusk Wheels. And so I got this wheel set up from Rocky Mountain ATV. And I got all four wheels and tires mounted. And it's free shipping. And so I'm making this video because I haven't seen one in a long time. And I haven't seen one actually for this size of wheel and tire setup so i wanted to kind of make that available so i have a 2019 can-am maverick x3 turbo r and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a tire and wheel swap so right now as you can see i have i'll get a better picture i have the tusk terabyte up against the maxis bighorn 2.0 and so that's what came stock on the can-am x3 and as you can see i have a tusk terabyte set up on also a tusk wheel uh, i believe the wheel is called a u ut enda or something like that um anyway uh it's, it's the gunmetal gray uh with the b lock on it as well and as you can see it looks really good and so i'll give you guys a close-up of the of the uh, wheel size or the tire size so tusk terabyte uh, it is DOT as you guys can see and it's 8 ply so good durability and it is good for on road if you guys are doing some on road like riding to the trail spot or to the trailhead uh, it'll get you there and it won't wear down like this guy right here the Maxxis uh, 2.0 so again I came stock we have a 30 by 10 14 the offset is the stock for uh, 3 so I elected to go with pretty much the same stock setup, just a different wheel and a different rim. And the reason why I'm doing this swap is because we're, we live out here in Arizona, lots of hard, dry, rocky terrain. And these Maxxis Bighorns are getting eaten up pretty good. I've, I've already had to plug a couple of them already. We only have about a thousand miles on the Can-Am. And so we want a more durable tire. And plus actually the Maxxis Bighorn are really good for dunes and so as you guys can see there's like little paddles on them so we're going to utilize those tires for dunes but we're going to keep the terabytes on there for you know hard pack trail desert so uh, i'm just going to kind of walk around the vehicle so you guys can see what it looks like now so we have the stock can-am wheel um b-lock tire or b-lock rims i highly suggest the b-locks you can run a lower tire pressure and still be okay I uh, haven't had any problems with the wheels coming off the beat at all with these, so I'm real happy with those. So if you guys are in the market, you know, for replacing wheels, um, the stock Can-Am bead locks are really good. But just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what she looks like before. So I'm going to kind of do a before and after. All right, just a little bit of an update. I got the first wheel on. As you can see, they look amazing. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get a closer view. So here is the Tusk Terabyte with Tusk Wheel. It's the UT Enda again. Again, these are 30 by 4, I'm sorry, 30 by 10 by 14 inch. Uh, the offset is 4.3, which is stock. So looking good. Really like the way those are turning out. So you can kind of compare that to the stock wheel the maxis 2.0 bighorn it's gonna look really nice so oh yeah one thing i did want to point out if you guys do get this wheel set up and you get tusk rims you need to buy these lug nuts from rocky mountain atv these are spline so these are way different let me get in a little a little bit closer here so as you can see the splines right there and if you buy the wheel there's a tiring wheel set up on rocky mountain utv it's very handy and they will say that you need to get these different lug nuts here these spline nut, lug nuts you also need to get this adapter that will fit into the wheel so as you can see it fits in perfectly in here you can't just do it with a regular socket wrench it won't fit so you need to have this adapter that'll fit in there all right, I will keep you guys updated and show you guys the full 
look when I get all the wheels on there. All right, as you can see, we got the new wheel set up on the Can-Am or the 2019 Can-Am Maverick um, Turbo R. Now this is the 64 inch, it's not the 72. So this is like the trail version, if you will. So if you guys are wondering what size this was, this was the 64 inch. So we do a lot of trail riding out here, so it works out pretty good. So as you can see, they look great. We did a test drive and the test drive went very well. They're actually a lot more cushy and grippy on the street, as you can imagine. They are DOT approved, so you can take these off road and on the street and still be in good shape. So they look really good. Um, I was on the forms. You know, there's some Maverick forms there, can have Maverick forms, and a lot of people went bigger on these. And I don't know, I really like the looks of these. It doesn't look too small. A lot of people said that they, they look small compared to the stock ones, but I don't know. I think they look really good. They're not disp disproportional. They feel great. They feel cushy when you ride. Obviously they look good. So, I mean, I can't complain. I had a really good experience with Rocky Mountain ATV and, you know, they answered all my questions and they had a, they have a wheel and tire set up thing. So it basically matches the wheels and tires that will fit your machine and they throw you free shipping and they give you all the information that you need to make a well-informed decision for your ride. And so... I'm really happy with the 30 by 10 for in a 14 inch wheel. Again, these are Tusk terabytes. And the wheel I believe is a Utienda wheel. So as you guys can see, we went with the gunmetal gray. I love the way the gunmetal gray looks. Everyone does black. So I figured we'd do something different, but they look excellent. This is a, um, I'm really happy with it. If you guys are wondering about the price, the price that we got was uh, 13, a little over 1300 for the complete wheel setup. And that's the other thing I forgot to mention is that Rocky Mountain ATV will mount the tires on your rims and send them to you. And the shipping was actually very fast. It only took about two to three business days and we had them right at, right at our door. So it was just a really good experience. Um, I might make a video and talk to you guys about the durability of these tires and how they performed off-road but on road they're definitely an upgrade from the maxis bighorn 2.0s and i'm really happy with the decision to uh to swap these out and again we're going to use the maxis bighorn 2.0s for dunes if you guys are wondering about a dune tire that's actually an excellent dune tire so if they come stuck on your machine i would suggest keeping those tires and using them for sand dunes because they're excellent. I, I'm not even going to get paddle tires. So anytime that we go to the dunes with this thing, we're just going to swap out these wheels for the, the ones that uh, I had on earlier, which is the Maxxis Bighorn 2.0. So anyway, uh, this is um, how the machine looks now. It looks excellent. And I'm really happy with the decision. So again, these are Tusk Terabytes and Tusk Wheels.